hello and welcome to Halley. Um, here I am in the lounge and it's uh, 20 to 4 in the morning. Uh, and the reason I'm up this late is because I'm on night shift this week. So I thought I'd uh, take the opportunity to do another video, this time off the inside of the base, so you can uh, have a see what it's like uh, in the place that we live. So we're on the Laws platform at the moment and I'm going to go for a quick tour around some of the rooms and then maybe at the end I'll, I'll do some of the other platforms like the big where I work and maybe some of the others as well. Okay, so here we are in the lounge still and uh, as you can see we've got plenty of comfy chairs for sitting around the TV watching videos and stuff. Magazines which are unfortunately all a year out of date but uh, we keep them all in the storeroom from, uh, from last year and then bring out a month's worth at a time so you can read what was happening this time last year and uh, all around the site, you're, all around the base, you'll see uh, there's lots of sort of Halley memorabilia. Here's a, like a satellite map of uh, the, the Halley area. And then here's our vast videos and CDs and DVD collection. There are many, many films here, but uh, a lot of them are a bit rubbish, so it's the same ones tend to come out. And uh, we don't have all that many new ones, although we're slowly starting to build up a bit of a DVD collection here. And over here we've got... Uh, uh, a big music jukebox with loads of CDs in and there's also uh, a computer which is attached to the music server with all the mp3s so we can play music. Going around here we have the uh, bar area which is the hub of the sort of social life here at Halley and uh, you'll find plenty of people around there on Friday and Saturdays and we've got the pool table as well so uh, I've been practicing a little bit over the winter and then again there's lots of things that people have made or uh, been left lying around from previous times. There's a uh, baby penguin which Gavin the doctor last year taxidermied. Uh, what else we got here? Uh, over here we have uh, the bob shop contest which is a, a entertaining idea. It's, um, it's pictures which people have taken of themselves and the idea is that you're not supposed to be able to tell that uh, you've taken the picture yourself. So there's a wide variety of pictures there, all taken by somebody in the photograph. And then over here we have a leftover from midwinter. This is a, a fireplace, which is still burning brightly, although there's just a, a light in there, so fortunately, else otherwise the place would probably burn down. That's quite nice to have a uh, sit around the fire every so often, just like home. Okay, next we've got the dining room, where we have the meals, obviously. And uh, again, there's lots of pictures and things around here. There's all the uh, group photos of every year's Halley Winter since uh, since the first base nap back in 1956. So you can see who's been here, and I'm sure by the end of the year we'll have our own one added on the end there. And you've got the food area, where there's uh, always something to be found in the cold cabinet. And that's where our main meals are served up here. And uh, one thing about Halley is that because there's enough people, you always tend to have sort of industrial versions of everything. So we have a big dishwasher, which is very good, and uh, makes our life a lot easier. And then over here, we've got our notice board, which is uh, where the regular events uh, are posted up and notices. Uh, we've got a, a notice here saying that we're about to uh, try and embark on the uh, penguin trips, hopefully tomorrow, if the weather is good. Although it's looking like it might be a bit cold to get the snowcat started, so we may have to wait a bit longer. And then up here we have the uh, the gas rotor, which is a clean-up rotor, and uh, we swap around here each day. Um, as you can see, I did it recently, so uh, I won't be down on there for another while, but basically once every 18 days or so, you end up doing that. And then more notices here. This is our schedule for our winter trips. Okay, here we are in the main corridor of the Laws, and this runs right down the middle of the building. So on our left we've got the lounge, which you've just seen, and on our right the dining room. We're going to go for a bit of a wander up this end of the platform. Um, here you can see one of the food storerooms. This is where all our grub is kept before Kev cooks us our delicious meals. So large supplies of things and everything tends to be bought in, uh, in bulk mostly. And then you check off things on here on pain of death if you don't when you've used them. Here's the winter present that I made for Jeff, which is uh, unfortunately too big to uh, keep anywhere else. So it's on the wall for now until it gets sent back. And another room full of food here. We've got more food uh, kept in the Drury building, which is one of the summer accommodation building, but we bring it down occasionally when we need it. That's not everything. 
here we have the, uh, the stationary cupboard and the dark room here at the back. So this is where people can develop their pictures if they fancy it. Um, black and white is easiest but there's some colour slide film stuff as well. So I've uh, got in larger here and uh, I don't really know a lot about this to be honest. I haven't, I haven't actually given it a go yet. I've, I've w sat in on one. I haven't tried it for myself. There's a picture here. Who's this? Is not sure. Looks like people at dinner time. So yeah, everything you need to uh, try out some photo developing skills. Here, next to the stationary cupboard, we've got uh, lots of old reels of film and an old projector. And uh, sometimes, occasionally, people put them on. And they've got lots of old Antarctic -y, uh, news reels and uh, various other things that are quite entertaining to watch every so often. OK, here we are in the kitchen. I'll just move away from the vents so you can hear me. And uh, this is where all the cooking goes on. And this is where I'm going to be making bread a bit later. That's one of the jobs of the night watchman is to uh, cook the daily bread. So I'll be in here trying out my favourite recipe and trying not to burn it. And again, you know, it's great. We've got all the things you need, big proper mixers and a nice decent oven, big deep fat fryer and uh, you know, it's it's quite easy, although you think cooking for 18 is quite daunting on your days, on, on the cook's days off. It's actually not all that hard because everything everything you need is here, you know, big pans and stuff. Okay, we're a bit further down the corridor now. I'm speaking a bit quieter as the bedrooms are down that end. And uh, here we've got lots of uh, fire equipment. Uh, we all train do some uh, training in uh, breathing apparatus and a little bit of firefighting. So if we need to, we can put the place out if it starts burning down. And then here we've got the pegging out board and sign out book. We always have to keep track of where we are and uh, what we're doing in case uh, you can't get hold of somebody and just sort of check that everyone's okay. You, you sign in and say when you're going to be back. Which is a little weird to start with but it's kind of comforting after a while to know that people are looking out for you if you don't turn up. Okay, here we are in the travel store which is where Ed, who's our field uh, GA, um, keeps all the uh, climbing and gear for our winter trips and all the boxes here. These, these are called man food boxes which contain all the gear you need when you're going out camping. And uh, some ice axes up there, big coats and stuff, everything you need. And then he also has a little desk for servicing things like, you know, fixing tilly lamps and uh, deciding what's going on. You've got the schedules there for the winter trips and harnesses. So it's a pretty small room but you know, just to cram a lot in here. Okay, in here we've got the laundry room and the south toilets is one of the very few areas with a bit of storage space so it, everything gets used up really there's uh, there's very little space for uh, extra belongings around here so we've got linen and we've got uh, a small toilet which is really just uh, an extra and a spare um, nothing else really to say about this apart from hello this is the laundry room where you get your washing done and you, you keep all the spare mops and uh, cleaning products and unfortunately this is the room that uh, got a bit of a spraying with uh, sewage a couple of days ago we had a leaky pipe up there and it sprayed uh, out broke out uh, after the pressure built up and uh, sprayed the whole room so it's got a, a fairly interesting odor at the moment but hopefully that will go away eventually you can still see a few bits uh, that haven't quite been uh, tidied up but uh, it's getting there, so we're almost back on uh, the way things were. Going across, we've got uh, just another small room with some stuff in. And also one of the big freezers where uh, the meat's kept. So, uh, going in here. See, this is where all the frozen meat is, and it's very cold in here, so I won't hang around too long. But this is where our dinner is. This is mostly meats in this one. And then we also have a walk-in fridge with the few supplies that we have uh, left. We even have, still have some fresh eggs there. It's uh, August now and uh, the ship left in uh, February, so the, the eggs are probably about six months old, but they still seem to be okay, which is quite remarkable, really. And then we have a second freezer, which has got a lot of vegetables and things like that in here, and lots of frozen leftovers, which are popular to be taken on winter trips. So you can just put them in a pot of water and have a nice curry or something like that rather than the uh, stuff in the man food boxes which is all dried and horrible but more food than you can shake a stick at okay here we have the uh, electricians and uh, carpenters workshop which 
unfortunately at the moment it looks like a bomb's just hit it but uh, that's just because of all the uh, chaos caused by the uh, plumbing problems last week normally it's lovely and tidy um, this is the site where we uh, spend a lot of time just before midwinter working on our midwinter presents and Graham's very helpful but as you can see there's not a lot of space so uh, it uh, can get quite frantic or it did get quite frantic just before midwinter but again all the tools you need uh, to do the job and a trade, trained professional to help you out with it as well what more could you ask for okay I'm gonna head into the generator room now which is one of the areas I spend not that much time and you'll probably see why because it's uh, quite noisy but I don't know if you'll be able to hear this but uh, these are the generators which uh, power the station and keep us running uh, throughout the winter and they all run on uh, Avtur which is a mixture of um, I think it's kind of diesel which has got uh, like aviation fuel in it to uh, stop it from freezing in the low temperatures and we've basically got several backup generators, three separate generators, uh, only one running at a time so uh, even if they have a problem with one or two of them they'll keep us in power and uh, although we do occasionally have power downs they're remarkably reliable uh, we've only really had one this year which uh, unfortunately was the a day when the generator mechanic was away from base, so it's just typical. Um, moving on out of there, we'll go into the other workshop, which is uh, Nigel the plumbers and, and Graham the generator mechanics. And here we've got uh, sort of the more heavy duty stuff. We've got a big drill here and the lathe, which you can use to turn brass and uh, uh, metal so they can uh, make any parts that they need. And, you know, a variety of stuff in here, plumbing pipes and the like. And this is the fuel room, which is next to the generator room. And believe it or not, this is the first time I've ever been here. In here, I kind of vaguely knew it existed, but I uh, didn't really know what was in there. So it's a learning experience for me as well. And it looks like uh, from that chair, it's somewhere where Graham can uh, hide for a bit of peace and quiet away from the crowds. So here we are, right down at the uh, south end of the building. That's the door going out, and the generator room and things over there. And here we've got suntan cream, which right now we don't really need, but fairly soon we will. Um, this is a pork sledge here which uh, people use to haul stuff around. It's uh, too cold for skidoos really at the moment so people tend to just drag stuff around by hand. Ooh. And then uh, in here is the boot room which is the first place you go in when you're leaving and uh, the last place on your way out. And uh, this is where all our nice warm clothing are. We've all got pigeon holes with our gloves and mitts and the like, hats and overalls and things for when you're heading outside. And then on from here, this little one tacked on the end, this is the uh, compactor room. And this is the compactor. And this is uh, for sort of some of our waste which is uh, taken out to the Falklands. We uh, compact it down if it's uh, plastics and uh, paper. And they go in these big sacks and uh, we store them over the winter. And then when the ship comes they're all taken out back to the UK. Um, just have a look out here you'll see I'm not going outside it's about minus 30 at the moment uh, there you can see the open platform um, which is a sort of uh, raised area where there's uh, you know those drums over there in the distance so um, for all the recycled materials and uh, we've got a crane over there for lifting stuff onto the platform and this is also the, where we have barbecues uh, when the weather is nice enough for them okay here we have the uh, drink store, which is where uh, the uh, supply of booze is kept. And uh, it's looking a lot less healthy than it did earlier in the year, but there seems to be a bit left over. So we all have a shelf or two in here with our supplies. Now this is the gym. And although it's quite small, there's a fair selection of uh, gear for people who are in the mood for getting fit. We've got a rowing machine and weights and the like. There's even a small, very small, climbing wall there as you can see on the wall. I've managed to avoid using the gym so far and um, hopefully it will continue although uh, people do tend to put on weight here I haven't had a problem yet but we'll see maybe next year I'll have to work my way in here and get rid of some of it. Okay this is the library um, supposedly the quiet room on base but as you can see from all the musical instruments it's turned into more of a music room this year as we've got lots of budding musicians um, it's nice it's, uh, to have a, a kind of quiet place to go sometimes and there's, uh, it's, it's a common place for using the phone if you want to call home, stuff like that. And there's plenty of books here uh, covering all sorts of subjects. 
So there's never any, any shortage of things to read. There's always something you can find if you're interested. But still, not again, not very much space. You know, it's one of the things on this base is uh, not a great deal of room. Okay, this is the computer room, which is sort of general access for people to check their emails or do whatever they need to do. We've got a plot up here with uh, weather information telling you the state of play. Seems it's minus 36 at the moment with seven knots of wind. We have a little chart showing how it's changed over time. Um, this here is the big server, which is uh, not the one I look after. This has got files and things like that. Um, with all our emails and stuff like that in the network cabinet. Over this side of the dining room we've got a uh, sort of drinks making area, tea, coffee and toast. And then here you can see one of the unknown but entertaining highly traditions is uh, photos get put up of uh, entertaining things as they happen during the winter. So these are all photos from this winter and uh, the some good ones in there make me chuckle sometimes. But then also cringe. <laughs>